Hello, this is Isaac Snow White from the University of Miami. I'm here today to demonstrate how to open an Olympus VS from an Olympus VS120 scanner into a usable format by traditional uh, photographic software or free open source software like ImageJ. Prior video and or in the links down below, we have QPath. We're gonna open QPath. Minimizes a bit. You can already see from looking at the, the header here, ImageJ is actually a functional extension within QPath. There are two ways to go about this. You can either go straight to the folder where you have your Olympus scan, grab the VSI file, simply drag it into the folder, and pick the image of choice, and there you go. The second option, which I mentioned in the prior, is a full database. Pull it in, it opens up, and there we go. So there are two options within the software that are pretty straightforward. If you just wanted within ImageJ, play with a, a scaled down version, you can go under extensions. I say send, snap, oops, sorry, I'm gonna click on image first, there you go. You go to ImageJ, send snapshots to ImageJ, and we can play with the image like a, like a JPEG, like so. Um, unfortunately, the scale, it's a, uh, like I said, it's a low quality JPEG, but you know, just basic image uh, want to use for a uh, publication. What we actually, what I actually want to do today is more importantly, export it into ImageJ so we can actually use the internal software of ImageJ for the analysis. If you don't want to use QPath, send region to ImageJ. What, what will happen is you will see a, a pop-up uh, occur. It will give us the choice of pixel down sampling or micrometers. The, basically, there's a underlying resolution to pixel count, which will down, which will down sample, or it can do pixels, which tend to be fractions of micrometers. But in, in any case, it's going to down sample the image um, because it, as it, as it stands, ImageJ can't really resolve images greater than two gigabytes in size, and it, except through bioformats, basically up to two two gigabytes. After that, basically the file will just collapse. So this one will dance a little bit for us. So if we have this entire area, we can click on it. It's gonna tell us that basically the image is effectively too big, but we're gonna move forward. It actually does a pretty good job. So you said, okay, it's gonna do a down sample version. This may take a minute. There we go. So what happens is you see the image on top or opens up on top, and in the back you have the browser window for ImageJ. So for those familiar with ImageJ, next steps are pretty straightforward. Um, if you're interested in taking this file into another format beyond ImageJ, we now can save the file in whichever format. I actually recommend maintaining a TIFF format. Most of these other formats utilize a form of compression. Again, all have utility, but TIFF less uh, compressed version we can utilize, say, for Analysis and some other secondary pieces of software. Let's go to the desktop. Desktop. I just type in TIFF save. And there you go. Now you got a TIFF file. If you want to, you can send that to, in this case, I think I'll open it with uh, something like uh, a Photoshop. It's capable of handling these larger for file formats. There we go. And of course, once you're in Photoshop, for those, if you don't have a license, I, and it doesn't have to be Photoshop, there's GIMP, there's a, which is an open source version of something very similar. But basically, you're gonna, you're gonna require a photographic software program, or software that can utilize fairly large uh, files and probably has some basic masking tools. And I think we will do a, another video after this one explaining how to use those masking tools, but you get the basic idea here. Anyway, thank you for your attention and have a nice day. Oh, and uh, please feel free to view the prior video. Um, QPath itself is actually a pretty impressive piece of software. Yeah, as you can see, one significant limitation of this file is that we lost the prior scaling data was available within QPath. So if you want to scale your data, scale size, cell count, that sort of thing, then I would stick with QPath. Otherwise, you're going to have to go through a separate set of protocols to work out scaling. Anyway, have a nice day.